Researchers are on the edge of an innovative breakthrough when it comes to curing cancer. Scientists developing an implant smaller than a human finger that could potentially cure cancer in just 60 days. This is a prototype of that device. It's expected to work as both a cancer detection system as well as a drug administration system. Doctors will determine which drug a patient needs and then put that drug into the device to be released later into the body. Researchers claim this first-of-its-kind technology will be able to improve harder-to-treat cancers like ovarian and pancreatic, as well as decrease cancer deaths by half in the U.S. Here with us now to explain this breakthrough is Shayna Kelly, professor of chemistry and biomedical engineering at Northwestern University. Professor, it is great to have you. This implant could possibly cure cancer in 60 days using early detection and then treatment. Would you mind explaining further how this works? Sure. So this is a device that, uh, as stated, can be implanted in the human body. The way that we diagnose and treat cancer right now, it's almost as if it's a static disease. We diagnose and then we treat. We're not able to monitor as cancer progresses or maybe retreats. This device will be able to actively monitor what's happening with a patient's tumor and then tune the therapy accordingly. Wow. Well, this is such encouraging news. And as you know, cancers like ovarian and pancreatic, they're usually discovered later, making them harder to treat, even harder to survive. I would assume the patient would need to already have this implant for that cancer to be detected early. Is that correct? That's true. I think this type of approach might come once a conventional diagnosis is made, but then with the device in place, the cancer can really be monitored so that we know exactly where it's at, how it's responding, whether the immune system is starting to, to kick in to help to clear away the cancer cells. So what is the process for putting this into use? I'm assuming there are trials. What is the likely timetable that we're looking at now? Yeah, so this is a five-year project. The first few years will focus on the development of the device, the development of the technologies that are needed to, to make the device functional. So we'll work away on that for several years and then uh, move into testing in humans by the end of the project. So it's really a, a five-year time horizon. Wow, certainly encouraging there as well. Is this just the beginning? Could something similar be used to treat other diseases like kidney disease? Absolutely. This type of active monitoring approach where we're sensing in real time what's happening with the human body, this is really the future of medicine, in my opinion. Uh, being able to, to watch cellular signals, molecular signals, and then use that information to, to treat disease uh, it will certainly move the needle for us. Oh, certainly game changing for so many in the U.S. and around the world as well. Shayna Kelly, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.